Hey everyone, this is Allie and welcome to the Common Room. Today I have another Wizarding Trunk unboxing for you, so keep watching if you would like to see the most recent bi-monthly box themed all around wizard shops. All right guys, so of course I am so excited to get into another Wizarding Trunk box, but before I do, I wanna give you just a little bit of information. So this is the April bi-monthly box, and these boxes cost $55 plus shipping, and they are guaranteed to have eight to 10 items in here. Now, if you would like to save a little bit of money, you can always use my code MAGICALALLY for 10% off your first box or individual purchases. Now again, this box is themed all around wizard shops and I am so excited to get into it and see what kind of items we have. But before I give you a sneak peek, I do wanna let you know that it is storming outside. So if you hear like a bunch of rain or thunder, that is why. But let's go ahead and get into this box. You can already tell that there are a lot of items in here that kind of look Weasley-ish. Now, I'm assuming that we're going to have a lot of Weasley's Wizard Weezes items in here, but I'm really excited to see what other shops they have. So, of course, we have, you know, like Honeydukes and Zonkos and I don't know, some others. My mind is just leaving me, but let's go ahead and see what we have in here. Usually there is a cheat sheet right on top but I don't see anything and I don't think this is big enough to be a cheat sheet, but let me see. Okay, no, it's not. So it says, it's just like this little piece of paper that was sitting on top and it says Spy Specters reveals invisible magical pests and it is from the Wondershins Joke Shop, which is like the Wizarding Trunk version of Weasley's Wizard Wheezes or Zonko's. But of course, this is for Spectrospects which we all love here because we are big Luna fans. Now, again, this is just a small little like print, but it will definitely be fantastic to put on the back of one of my Weasley shelves. There's one little bag in here that I really should save, but it's really interesting me because I have no idea what it is. Let's see, oh my God, of course I didn't. <sighs> I couldn't tell what it was because I could only see one side of them, but you guys. Can you see what's in here? We have some Spectra Specs to go with our little print. And they are really cute. Uh -huh. Okay, so I have a different version of Spectra Specs. I think I got it from Barnes and Noble. And they are, you know, the Luna pink Spectra Specs. But these, which are called Spy Specters from the Wondershins Joke Shop, they are like this dark purple color. And you can see they have the blue and the pink. It's very light, but you can see it in there. And it has like all these cute little designs and it's not just on the front of it, but you can see like when you open up the glasses that it's all there too. Oh, they're so cute. <sighs> I am obsessed with them. I really need to make a Luna Love Good cosplay. I have been trying to find, you know, things to wear to LeakyCon and I keep seeing Luna inspired stuff like pop up on my Etsy. But in my head, I'm like, I can't be Luna. I might now have to be Luna. There's another box in here that I instantly saw when I opened the box that reminds me of the Weasley. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it up. Oh, okay, so this is, <laughs> this makes me very excited also. So these are called jumping jelly beans. And you can see they're actually little jelly beans in there. So this is like the Birdie Bots Every Flavored Bean Wizarding Trunk Edition. It says they are from Bailiwick's Magical Sweets. And you can see like, I'm assuming you can actually eat these because they have nutrition facts on the back of them. I'm going to assume that these don't have any gross ones in here. So I'm definitely gonna wanna eat them. <laughs> if somehow I get a nasty flavor, I'll let you guys know. But those are really cute. <sighs> I kinda don't wanna open them because I think they're gonna be perfect on a shelf. But yeah, definitely a Weasley-esque kind of item.
I'm gonna show you in the box because now that those first couple bright colored items are gone, I couldn't tell you anything that's in here. It's just brown, brown boxes, brown squigglies. So I don't know. So let's start off, you know me, I'm gonna save that kind of big box for the end. But let's look at this other little box that's just sticking up for me. It feels kind of weighty and almost like maybe there's a liquid in here. So I'm wondering if we have some kind of potion. I can see like a pink wax seal, which makes me instantly think maybe some kind of love potion. I'm so smart. Okay, so we definitely have a love potion in here. You know what's crazy? Out of all the little potions on my shelf with like actual liquid in them, I don't think I have a love potion. But this one you can see it's like this really pretty, it's a dark red color. And on the front it says Amor Eternum or Amor Tentia. And it is a love potion. And you can see I really like the Wizarding Trunk labels because they're really good at making it kind of vintagey, but still really nicely presented. But you can see the Amor Eternum right there. I love the mixture of like the pink label and the red liquid in here. And on the back, it says beautifully bewitched love and beauty potions. And it has kind of this little like pink cord wrapped around the top, but the wax seal is perfection. It's this very pretty light pink color with this beautiful little heart in the middle. I did this on one of the last potions, you guys. I just assumed it was just a normal red potion because all the fun stuff is on the bottom. Let me shake it up because it's going to be pretty. I don't want to look at it yet. Oh, ho, ho. oh, it's so pretty. I'm going to show you kind of on the back so you can see it. It is beautiful. I love these potions like this. They make it just a little more magical. But yeah, this is a fantastic potion, and I honestly can't believe that I didn't really have a love potion until now. We have some kind of beauty item, I think. They do a lot of items from Alchemy for the Skin. So let's see what we have this time. It is called the Bestiarium's Rat Tonic. Oh, this is based off of something. I can see it in my mind. What is it? There's like something that's shown in the Menagerie in Universal, but you can't buy it. And it's something rat related. I don't know. <laughs> but it says the Bestiarium's Rat Tonic. Ingredients are aloe, vitamin E, and orange blossom oil. Of course, it does say it is a product of Alchemy for the Skin. It says its intended use is for use on minor rashes, cuts, and abrasions. So I guess it's something that you would use for like healing, but the aloe, vitamin E, and orange blossom oil sounds like it's gonna smell really good. So let's see what this smells like. I don't quite understand the top of this because when you pull it up, there's like a little plastic piece and I don't wanna break it. And I feel like I'm gonna somehow break it, but it does smell fantastic. I love the, I can definitely smell the orange blossom oil, which smells amazing. I'm thinking the cheat sheet will give us a little more information of maybe what exactly it's used for besides, you know, like healing. So we'll take a look at the cheat sheet and see what exactly this is supposed to be. There's something in like a plastic little bag and I'm thinking it might be a key, but I haven't looked at it. <gasps> it is a key. What are you a key to? <gasps> I am so excited. This is something that I have seen a lot of other people have like little replica items of, but I do not have one, like not a real one. So one place that really wasn't even on my mind because I don't technically consider it a shop, because it's a bank, but we have a Gringotts key and you can tell that it's a real key because the little charm has my vault number on it. It says vault 688. Yes, 688. And I have like a little 
like key that came off of a keychain for Gringotts, but I've never had anything that gave me like a vault number and I think that's so cool. But you can see the key itself is really pretty too. You've got like the G up here at the top and it's just that silver color with some pretty little designs. And I think that the little pins on the key remind me of like the intricate, you know, details on the doors on the inside. So I really like that. I'm excited to have an actual Gringotts key for my vault. I just saw something really cool in here and I don't know what it is, but I don't want to get it yet. Because I know there's going to be prints down here. So I'm going to try to avoid some of these things and pull out the prints. I'm just going to start putting stuff to the side. There's so much stuff in this box. So I pulled everything out of this box and I somehow managed to not look at any of it. So let's start off with these prints that were at the very bottom. So the first one, oh, it's a, okay, never mind. <laughs> That's the cheat sheet. So it's going over here. So starting off the prints, we can go over the Magical Creatures A to Z page. Now they have had a lot of these in a lot of the previous boxes. And I know that we have something coming out in the June box that is going to hold all of these pages. But let's see what creatures we have on this one. So our first creature is going to be the flesh eating slug. It says that native to South Wales, flesh eating slugs grow to be upwards of five inches long. It does also say that their serrated teeth are not the only thing to guard against that they also secrete a slimy, corrosive substance. Nasty. <laughs> but of course we all know about flesh-eating slug repellent. So of course we have a page that is dedicated to the actual flesh-eating slug. Oh, I like the one on the back because I feel like this isn't something that we really heard a lot about of in the Harry Potter books, but I've definitely heard of them before. It's familiars. It says that familiars are supernatural beings who have served witches and wizards for hundreds of years. Although they are spirits, these beings manifest in the human world as tangible, clearly defined animals. And you can see on here that we have a cat, a toad, and a rat. So of course those remind me of Crookshanks, Trevor, and Scabbers, which we don't talk about. But this is a really cute page. I enjoyed both of the different creatures and I can't wait to see what we have to put these in coming in June. Now for our next paper item, it looks like we have a really cute postcard. This one is also themed around animals. Again, I'm showing like another cat and a toad, but you also have an owl and a hippogriff. And the artwork is so cute. It says magical pets on the top. And again, it looks like more animals from the menagerie. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but the store where, you know, Hagrid gets Hedwig in Diagon Alley. You can see it even has like the little hand. Now it does have a few things that it says on here. Under the hippogriff, it says warning, hippogriffs are not indoor pets, buy with caution. The next one is, you can see there's kind of like a snake rolling around and it says, what about a 70 foot snake? No, thank you. And then for the frog, it says for the slime lovers. But you can see on the back that it is a postcard. It says post mail. And it has some really cute little stamps that again look like those magical creatures. So that's really cute. I probably will not use this as a postcard because I think it's super cute. I will have to, I don't know. I don't know exactly where I'm going to put it, but it's a really nice print that will go on my shelves. Now this next paper item, I really don't know what it is. It's all purple and it says Ezekiel's Quality Wands. So this is like a nod to Ollivander's, which I love everything wand related in the wizarding world. So I'm really excited to see what this is. It looks, I can see that there's like little runes on here. So I'm assuming that Danny from Wizardry Workshop designed this 
And on the back, it says exceptional wands made with only the finest quality woods and superior cores. And it says since 1756. Now this feels to me like it's gonna be like a little pamphlet with items. I'm gonna be really excited if there's like different kinds of wands in here. Let's see. Oh, there is. Oh, I love it already. I need a whole like Ollivander shelf. I need more Ollivander's items, but I need a shelf for it. So you can see that there are like all these different wands. It has like the length and wood type and core and then a picture of the wand underneath it. And you've also got like these really pretty wands right here. <sighs> I don't know, oh, okay. It looks like the wand on top is the one that's on the side because it has like a little asterisk kind of thing right here. See that little black thing? I think that's showing that this is for this wand. So that is so fun. Like this first one says that it is 10 inches elderberry for the wood type and then the core is gold thread. I am obsessed with this. And it is, it's just filled with different wands. This is maybe one of my favorite kind of paper items that we've received from the Wizarding Trunk. It's gonna be a tie between this and like the rough draft of the Marauder's Map. But this is fantastic and I'm going to have to find a spot for it. Now there's only one more paper item. And again, I'm very excited about this one because it is like an image or a picture of the shops from Diagon Alley. So of course, again, these aren't the actual Harry Potter shops, but you can see that there are some magical shops on here. You have the first one says Flora and Granum, and then you have Clean Sweeps, which is just like a whole clean sweep store and then the bestiarium. Okay, so the bestiarium is what their little magical pet shop is called. Well, look at how beautiful this artwork is. Like those shops for sure look to me like they would be in some cute little wizarding village that I need to visit. But I really like that. Oh, you can even see on the bottom here, there's like the little hands, like little road signs with hands that say wands and brooms. I love all of this. I can definitely put this on a shelf somewhere. Again, I'm not sure. I am like in the process of writing down a bunch of ideas for different shelves, but I'm hoping I can find something for this because I think the artwork is beautiful. All right, guys. So that was all of our paper prints. There are four, four, one, two, no, five more items from this box. So this box was just jam packed with items. Let's go ahead, there's a pin. So let me show you that. It says the Wizarding Trunk Exclusive. Again, I always give you guys a sneak peek. What? It's, oh, I like it. I have nothing that has to do with this shop. Oh, and I like that they kind of just put the initials so I still know what it is. They didn't have to give it its own name. You guys, it's like a little cloak and it has scissors in the middle and it has two M's. So this is a Madame Malkin's pen. You can see it says M&M &M and it says Worldly Wizarding Wares. I love it. And it even like, it's hard to see, but I think it's almost got like a purplish blue color. It's a really unique color with like the yellow writing, but I really like that because again, I don't have anything Madame Malkins related. And I think that's very unique and it will definitely be great to put on my pin board. Okay, so we have two boxes. We have our book cover and then we have this one other item that I said I kind of saw earlier and I was excited to see what it is. So let's look at that one first. So we have like a little notebook and I can tell there's a rune on the back of it. So it was designed by Danny. But it says it is the Scriptorium Quality Quills and Impeccable Inks. So it's like a notebook from Flourish and Blots. 
let me open this. So I think everybody kind of has like their guilty pleasure item from subscription boxes that not everybody's going to enjoy, but I like 99% of the ones that I get. And that's going to be like little notebooks. So I am obsessed with this. Not only does it have this beautiful gold foiling on the front, but it, the way that it is printed, it looks like a leather bound kind of cover. And again, it says the scriptorium. It has like a little crown with some feathers coming out of it. And on the back, you can see there's just some designs, but it does have like the rune that Danny puts on a lot of his designs. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. The pages, they're not bright white, so they look kind of, you know, like again, old and distressed, but it has this beautiful like paper at the front. It's like these marbled pages. And then you open up the actual pages and they're just, it's like one page is lined and the other page is not, but it looks like parchment paper. It looks like stained parchment paper. And this is gonna be another one of those notebooks that I really want to use, but then everything inside of me is saying, do not use that, don't ruin it, just put it on your shelves. I really like that. And then it's just a, you know, a little addition that we have this bright, beautiful purple bookmark in the middle. So this is beautiful, <sighs> definitely going on a shelf and to be determined if I'm gonna use it or not. All right, so we have two boxes before we get to our book cover. I'm gonna go with this long one. There was the big one that I said I was gonna wait till the end, so we're gonna do this one first. Now, a lot of the times I would say there was maybe a potion in here, but we've already had a potion. So I honestly have no idea what could be in this box. Nothing like this shape is coming to mind. There's maybe a straw in here. Maybe we have some kind of like, no, wait, no, it's like a, okay, it's like a, I don't know what it is. <laughs> It's something that you can squeeze stuff out of because there's this little pump on here. I got it packaged up really nicely. I will say that the bottle is beautiful. It's like a chalk kind of finish on it. And it says pure blood apothecary, all purpose magical mess remover. So it's like a, it's like a hand soap little dispenser. And when you put the black little pump on here, I do like how it looks because it's all just very black. So we just have like this little usable item that you can put in like your bathroom or your kitchen for hand soap. Now it is very pretty. Usable items aren't always my favorite thing to get out of a subscription box, but I know a lot of people really enjoy them. I would like to be able to decorate, you know, a bathroom or something so I can put this in here and having an all black bathroom does sound like a really good idea. But yeah, we have a hand soap pump and I don't know. It says magical mess remover. So I don't know exactly which shop that would be referring to, but it's definitely a really nicely made item. I feel like this is either glass or ceramic. It's really heavy and really beautifully done. So if you like really nice Harry Potter usable items, you will probably like this. All right, let's open this very last box before we get to our book cover. I'm hoping, like I know that we had a lot of smaller replicas like the love potion and the jelly beans and the spectra specs, but I'm hoping that maybe we have some kind of replica in here. I didn't have any, you know, like ideas in my head for magical shops for a specific replica. So let's see. Okay, this is pretty cute. I don't know if it's like any specific type of replica, but it's definitely a like mini replica little item. And of course, one of the shops or one of the things that you can buy at shops that we haven't went over yet is cauldrons. And it's like this little mini replica of all these little cauldrons stacked on top of each other. So this is definitely gonna be like a fantastic little item for one of my shelves. I like, now I have a lot of cauldron replicas and Every single one of them is black. So I love that this is like a, 
it looks really aged, like they have a blue color, but it's like some old silvery agedness to it. And the design of it is fantastic. Like the way that the cauldrons are all sitting in each other is exactly what I would imagine cauldrons stacked up would look like. And they even go so far to have like the little handles on there. So even though it's not a specific replica, I do think that that is a really, really cute little item and it was really well made. Okay guys, so that was all of our boxes and little items from the box. But now we of course have the book cover. Now, they've been pretty good about theming the book covers with what the actual theme of the box is. So I don't know what kind of magical shop we would have a book sleeve or book cover for. But let's take a look and see. Oh, I can tell. You know, I was obsessed with that like marbled paper that was on the inside of that notebook. And you can see there is like even more marbled paper on this. So let's open this up and see what all is in here. And of course you guys know me, it's got watercolory looking mint green and purple. So I'm probably going to like this. <laughs> Before I open this up, I did look on their website and I kind of, you know, just glanced at it so I didn't see anything about the actual book cover. But it says that it fits on the hardback of Quidditch Through the Ages. Now I think the last one that we had also went on one of those, like the Tale of Beetle the Bard, I think. One of the smaller ones that comes in like the little three pack set. But let's see what is in here. Oh, I already see gold foiling. I'm gonna open it for you guys to see. I can see the rune that Danny always has on his covers. Is it maybe more uh, animals? Oh, dwelling with drag. <gasps> Is this like a Gilderoy Lockhart flipping cover? Even if it's not really him. <gasps> I, okay. <laughs> Another one of like my little guilty pleasures of Harry Potter. Although I don't, you know, really like Gilderoy in the books. I am obsessed with Gilderoy Lockhart. I love all of the book covers that they have of him, like at Universal and the Wizarding World. I want all of the Mina Lima prints. Okay, I guess I do kind of like Gilderoy Lockhart. And it's dwelling with dragons. <sighs> I love this. This is by far my favorite book cover that we have received. <sighs> okay, so let me show you. They don't have, you know, the actor who plays Gilderoy Lockhart, but they have this actor on here and it says dwelling with dragons and you know, he's obsessed with himself. So he's got his face on the front there and it's got all that gold foiling with like some images of dragons on the spine. It does also say dwelling with dragons. It's kind of hard to see, but it's like dragon hide and it's got that gold foiling. Now the back of it is also perfection because it has, you know, reviews. And I can already see that the Enchanter is on here, which is a, like a magazine that the Wizarding Trunk actually sends out. So on the back, it says, everyone's favorite wizard extraordinaire is back yet again to enchant and dazzle us with his latest account of heroic adventures alongside the most dangerous creatures on earth. There's a review on here that says, an instant bewitching bestseller from Warlock Talk, and then a spellbinding triumph from the Enchanter. I am obsessed. I cannot wait to get this on the book and get it on my shelves. I need like, again, a whole Gilderoy Lockhart shelf because I might be a little obsessed. But this is beautiful. You can see the back here with those reviews and with that marbled paper. I really think not only is the idea of this fantastic, but I really think that it was well done. So he had Magical Me, he had The Year with the Yeti, and so now we have Dwellings with Dragons. This is perfection. Definitely in the running for my favorite item out of the box.
Now, before we go over my favorites and least favorites, let's go ahead and look at this vial and cantum, which is going to be our cheat sheet, just to make sure that we got all the items and that I knew what everything was. So it does say the vial and cantum poisons and cursed curiosities. And it has this really kind of dark image on here that says my glass runneth quickly. So the cheat sheet itself can be used as like a print, which is really cool. The first item is the Dwelling with Dragons book cover. It says the new book has just been released by everyone's favorite wizard, designed by Wizardry Workshop and fits the magical sports book, which is gonna be that hardcover of Quidditch Through the Ages. The next one is gonna be the Vault Key. Bring this key with you when visiting your vault designed by J.P. Mistlecrow. We have the Stack of Vintage Cauldrons, a range of cauldrons magically shrunken for easy transport. Oh, that's really cute. I feel like I remember reading about that in the books a little bit where you could like shrink your cauldron. Then we have the Flesh Eating Slugs and Familiars Creature page. This page torn out of magical creatures A to Z will come in handy if your magical garden is infested with flesh eating slugs. And it was created by Wizardry Workshop. The next item is going to be the Scriptorium Journal, a journal from the Parchment, Quill, and Ink Shop, designed by Wizardry Workshop. Next, we have the Jumping Jelly Beans, magical jelly beans spelled to not bounce about after the package is opened. A backdrop is included to pull forward to display once you finish the candy. So I can't eat my candy and still display it. That makes my whole day. They did not have to do that, but the fact that they did it makes me love them even more. I definitely want to eat my jelly beans. <laughs> Next, we have the rat tonic. Is your pet rat under the weather? Try our rat tonic, also designed for use on wizards and witches. Simply apply to rashes, minor cuts, and abrasions. Created by Alchemy for the Skin, and then the label was designed by Wizardry Workshop. Then we have the MM Shop Sign Pin. Visit this shop for all of your worldly wizarding wares. This pin was designed for us by JP Mistlecrow. We have the Wand Shop Catalog. Features a variety of wands available at Ezekiel's. The Wand of Willow looks like an excellent choice. Designed by Wizardry Workshop and includes illustrations by J.P. Mistlecrow and Emily Walsh. I really hope in some of the last few boxes they will send us, you know, like little advertisements like that. And then we get some of the items. I would die if the Wizarding Trunk sent us a wand. You know, I'm obsessed with them. Next, we have the Amor Eternum Love Potion. This eternal love potion is brewed to create what can only be described as true love. For long-term effects, one teaspoon should be taken weekly. If a dose is missed, the effects will slowly dissipate. It says this is part of our new beautifully bewitched line of love and beauty potion products, bottled by Pureblood Apothecary and designed by Wizardry Workshop. Then we have these spy specters. This pair of magical glasses can help you see invisible mischief makers of all sorts. These were designed for us by Twillings and Tattings. We have the Magical Pet Store Postcard. This postcard can be sent via Owl to any witch or wizard of your choice. And it was created for us by J.P. Mistlecrow. Next is the Magical Shop Storefront. This was also designed for us by J.P. Mistlecrow. And the print shows some of the new wizarding shops opening in the alley. And then the very last item was the Magical Mess Remover. This bottle of Magical Mess Remover was created for us by Pure Blood Apothecary. Fill it with your favorite brand of hand soap to ensure that your hands are mess free. And it was designed by JP Mistlecrow. Okay, so we did get all of our items and I knew what they all were, which is good. <laughs> so now it's time to go over my favorites and least favorites. I do have a least favorite item. It's not that this item wasn't well made and it's not that it's a bad item necessarily. It's just that it's this usable hand soap container and I personally like to receive, you know, like replica kind of items in subscription boxes. Again, I know a lot of people are probably gonna really enjoy this and use it, and I'll probably use it too, but that's maybe my least favorite item out of the box. But guys, now for my favorite item. The whole box, I really thought it was gonna be something different. So for an honorable mention, I am going to say that the Spectre Specs are my second favorite item. I think they are so well done. They like the design of them is perfect and I love that they are like this dark purple color which is just a little different than the standard pink ones that we see and they're just really well made. So that's definitely my second favorite item. I know I already showed you guys what these looked on but I really want to wear them so I'm going to put them on top of my head <laughs> for the rest of the video because I think they are perfect. <laughs> 
But now for my absolute favorite item out of the box, the one that really just kind of stole the show for me as soon as I opened it. And it has to be the book cover. Like I said, I am a little obsessed with Gilderoy Lockhart. And so this design of this book cover, I just wasn't thinking about it at all. And, you know, it makes perfect sense because, again, we see his books in Diagon Alley. They're in, you know, Flourish and Blots in the window. And, yeah, I'm just obsessed with it. Definitely going to be my favorite item out of the box. All right, guys. So now that we have went over my favorites and least favorite items out of the box, I do want to go over my final thoughts. Now, although there were a couple items in this box that weren't really right up my alley, I do still think that this was a really strong box. For being a box about wizard shops, I thought that they actually did a pretty good job about giving us a variety of different items that represented all the different shops that you can find in Diagon Alley. Of course, there was, you know, the little cauldron replica I thought was a really creative idea. It's not something that I would have thought of. There were a few really nice items in here. Like, of course, I love the notebook. I love the book cover. You know, the potion is beautiful. Again, with Wizarding Trunk, I feel like they do a lot of original ideas. When I thought of wizard shops, you know, the first thing that comes to my mind is Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. So I expected a lot of those kind of items. And surprisingly, they didn't stick to just that. And I, I do kind of appreciate that. So I thought it was a really strong box and I'm definitely excited to put a lot of these items on my shelves. Now, of course, that is just my personal opinion. I would love to know what you guys thought of the box, so make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite and least favorite items were and your overall thoughts on the box itself. As always, thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos related to Harry Potter and the Wizarding World, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time in the common room.